Welcome back to Dave's MySQL Basics. In this episode, we're going to look at creating databases, altering databases, and dropping databases. Uh, first thing I got to do is log in. So I'm connect as root on my local machine. I type in backslash SQL to get into SQL mode. And I can actually go out and now create our own database. Uh, by the way, as I mentioned before, MySQL uses schema and database interchangeably. So I'm going to create a database called x1. Oops, it's already there. So let's get rid of it. Do that with the drop command. Drop gets rid of everything. Uh, so unless you have a backup or a very, very, good, very good memory and want to retype everything, uh, the data is gone. So we drop the database. Create database. There it is. Uh, another thing you'll see is, let me drop it again. Create database if not exists. Uh, you also see uh, restoration scripts from backups that will use this to make sure that if the, the schema isn't there, uh, it will actually create it. But if it is there, it will not recreate it. Now, the show commands are kind of a non standard uh, MySQLism. You'll create database x1. This shows you what goes on at the system level and actually creates things. Let me do that with a backslash g, capital G. Um, it told us it's created a database, and the default character set in this case is UTF 8 MB4, and the collation is UTF 8 MB4. Uh, the 900 of the Unicode uh, character set. AI stands for accent insensitive and CI stands for case insensitive. Now we can alter databases if we need to change things like that. So alter database x1 and let's change the collation to UTF8MB4. 0900 and let's make it accent sensitive and case sensitive and if I do our show create database uh, you notice that we're now AS and CS for accent, accent sensitive and case sensitive where before we were accent and case insensitive. Now that we've created our databases, our schema we can now create tables. And guess what's in the next episode? You're right, creating tables.